So I think when we uh, decided to go about writing this record, this album, um, we really had talked about wanting to do a, uh, a concept album, which is something that seems to be of, of like kind of a, a bygone. It's not something that happens anymore that often. So um, we kind of want to take it back to some of the stuff that we grew up listening to where where we would you know some of these heavier bands we listen to have concept albums or even some of the the, the more general rock bands but we really wanted to tell a story about a journey that um that we all related to um and uh you know just stuff that we we're going through with in life and so um that was kind of really like the starting point and so then from there we just kind of started framing the album with that in mind and and kind of with a beginning point and an end point and like filling it in between so and a lot of that was chris as far as the lyrical process and uh yeah i mean we <clears throat> we started out with wonder um and that's kind of where everything hinged off of because it's told both sides of the story that we wanted to portray um both this, uh, that kind of turning point of a, of a deep darkness turning to finding hope and finding light. Um, so that's where we kind of hinged everything off of and then just built the pieces on, on either side of that. Um, I think that in the, in the whole thing, we, we really wanted to like you said, it was it was a, the the idea of the album title, the transference, is about move us moving from from one state, one one place of where where we as individuals are at, and moving into an, an, a different place, which is from a place of of confusion and and hopelessness and darkness, and into light and into freedom and and truth. And um, we we want our music to be reflective of. Um, who we are as individuals and we wanted to portray that through this not just as um not just as you know 20 something year old dudes but also we we all have a um we all have a really strong passion um uh for god and um for jesus and we wanted our music to portray that we we don't we don't we don't want people to feel like, oh, I, I have to believe in God in order to like really connect with this music. And we wrote the music that way. Chris was very adamant about that, about, okay, like this is this is a conversation about our spiritual walks, but we want it to be relatable to just different things that people are going on through life. And, and like I said, Chris was very, very um, honed in on that being, um, being relayed through the music so that starting with the first song, Fracture, it, it, it portrays one thing to us, even as individuals, it, it can mean something slightly different. When Chris wrote it, he, he wrote it specifically about one thing, but the idea is, is that is it, it, it has the ability to connect with people um, in ways that, you know, kind of molds and shapes to the different situations that are going on in their life. And then as, as going through the album, you know, into the next song, and then the song after that, it slowly tells a story that, that transitions, that that transfers from this this heaviness, which is the first several songs, into this 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 turning point in the album, which Chris talked about as Wonder, and then ending with Coda, which is a just a declaration of of um, of hope and 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 recognizing that that you know we 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 in, in the way what we believe in we can't do these things on our own we do in and of ourselves we're not capable of 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 becoming the people that we believe that we're supposed to be without the help of god and so um we just really hope that that communicates itself through it um through the record now it's always been <clears throat> the way i've written has always been very personal um, it's always a, a personal narrative of something going on in my life or even something I'm in contact with, um, through somebody else I may know, um, something they may be going through and it inspires me to kind of write something based off of that. 
um, and that that was evident in our previous EP. Um, just some of the songs were were personal, and then um, and some of them were written in that current emotional state. It wasn't even a it wasn't even a uh, looking back on it, kind of like oh I felt this way at that time. It was I was in that moment and I was writing that song. Um, and there were even times when uh, you know I wrote a song about. Uh, a friend of mine who killed himself and just knowing uh, kind of the struggles of his everyday life and um, and just knowing what he went through and um, and just seeing it ultimately end and that sort of sadness inspired me to write this song to bring hope to other people who may be um, living in those situations. I think where I was during that time the first like five songs or so was going through and finding like emotional state of how to keep my composure there was a lot of stuff going on in my life at that time that was really rough and just trying to figure out how to walk through it and a lot of the songs were portrayed for me especially the first five songs was dealing with that and figuring out how to walk through that and get through it and find find that place of I guess hope and peace it's that that moment of moving forward and something and finding yourself in a grounding point of some some sort of something and for me like my spiritual walk and everything kind of like led me that direction but at the same time I knew I know a lot of people that will not have that spiritual push and understanding to go through anything that suicide and depression kicks in and doesn't go away with no hope. They just walk through it. So ultimately my goal was to, for, for me on the album, was to walk through and just hopefully bring those points up to actually be honest and have, have those moments to, to bring those to those people that need it the most. Yeah, I, th I think for me is that the album was very much, um, to me it's a very therapeutic I don't know, process of writing this stuff because um, for me, you know, in that process, I was in a place of very much of like um, frustration with where I was at in my life and different things that had and hadn't worked out. And, you know, you have stuff happens with the band that you get really excited about and then, you know, it doesn't work out and then you're like, okay, like, what am I doing with my life? So, um, you know, I think that it's really cool to see the impact it's having on people and the different um, responses we get back from it because like, you know, I run the Instagram and I talk to people every day about it and you know, I get to hear the stories about why they like this song or why they like that song. And I think it's really cool that we are able to use this as a vehicle um, to talk about real life issues and also to bring hope. I mean, because I think all of us here have dealt with depression and suicide and um, addiction and stuff like that in our lives. So. For us, I think it's just a very honest, open book saying like, hey, this is where we were at. This is where what where we're still at in some areas of our life, walking through, you know, our faith and um, certain areas of our lives. And ultimately, no matter if you feel like, you know, hopeless, you know, like Fracture, the song Fracture, you know, you can still, you can still at the end of the day say, you know, I have hope. It is well with my soul because, you know, like Josh said, we, you know, we're not here to push anything we believe on people, but we do believe that um, our hope lies in Jesus, not in religion, not in any of that, but in um, the love of Jesus. So, you know, we don't subscribe to ourselves as like a quote unquote Christian band. We, um, we really believe that God made music and we have a choice to use it for good. Or we have a choice to use it for, you know, not good. So I think that music is an art and I think that we are we need to take the gifts we're given and use it to be, um, use them properly and steward them properly. And I'm just grateful that um, we've been given the opportunity to steward these gifts in a way that can help change people's lives and, and, and hopefully, you know, help walk people through, you know, depression and suicide and, you know, abuse and whatever that stuff looks like. So, yeah. Like you said, there's nothing that... <clears throat> I think there's nothing that separates us from anybody else regardless of our um, you know regardless of our beliefs that we find our hope in Jesus there's still that there's still that similarity in that 
we still go through a lot of the same things. Um, we still deal with these uh, these hardships, and um, and for us to you know say it's Christian music is to is to discount really what's what the message is because we all go through the same thing, Christian or non. Um, and uh, and this is for everybody. This is this is for me. This is for these guys. This is for the people listening. And there's um, there's nothing that should separate you from getting uh, getting you know hope and um, and the message uh, you know that really um, what are you just saying? It's not like you, you don't. It's not like oh, I have to. I have to believe what they believe in order to connect to this music. No, we we want you to find hope, and we hope that in interacting with you and you interact with the music and with this album, we do get to share with you who, what we believe in and why we believe it. Not to push on you, but because you know we're passionate about it. Just like you know anything you do, you find a band you love, you got to share with your friends. You got to be like, dude, check this band out. They're amazing or whatever. And, and that's how we feel about about our beliefs and, and about who Jesus is and, and we just want to we just want to love people it sounds cliche but like it's it's what we want to do we just we want to meet people where they're at no matter like you hear all these stories about how bands impact people's lives and they say oh you say you your music saved my life and and so we want our music to have that type of impact um, fr from the most humble standpoint that that we can we can all relate in some way and, and connect through music regardless of if you believe what I believe or if you don't you know it and it's, it's that it's that impact of though that we don't care about us getting any recognition for it we just want our music to have the impact that brings wholeness and healing to people's lives and we want our abilities and as musicians and our gifts as musicians to be a vehicle for that and in, in, in the purest form without any recognition so yeah, I mean, I agree. Like, you know, I mean, it's it it would it's cool to see that people are relating to the music and saying that it gives them hope. You know, or, you know, it's gotten them through their dad who died. You know what I mean? Or you know, it was something that they clung to. And even even though the song, you know, was written differently than you know, and and has a different meaning than what they took from it, that's okay. Like, that's the reason we wrote these songs that way. Is that we? I mean. The song is about one thing, but if, if you can cling on to it and use it as, you know, something that gets you through a divorce or a breakup or death or whatever, I mean, that's, that's, you know, we're just super humbled that people um, look at our music as something that, you know, that we've gotten a lot of feedback of like, oh, this is a really, you know, gives, brings me a lot of hope and stuff. And, you know, so um, we're just grateful for the opportunity to be at that, you know, blessed to be able to use our gifts in that way um, and, and again in the humblest way possible we, we don't we don't care about you know the gratitude we just you know we just want the money <laughs> oh we just want to see the lives change that's it we just want to see hope being brought to other people and that actually uh, communicating outwards um, to whoever gives us a listen